It's like we paid tribute to Olivia Newton-John. I had a week of uh, not making God much sense. God rest her soul. And Todd goes, um, hey, I got a song for, uh, you know, pay tribute to Olivia Newton-John. Let's get quizzical. And like I a go, sports quiz. But, but nobody said, hey, we, we need theme song, theme music for quiz, a quiz show. And I didn't have a sports quiz prepared to pay it off, so it just made no sense. No. Let's get quizzical. Let me hear your answer now. That's how it went. <laughs> it's, it's bad. It was very bad. Very bad. We do entertaining sports talk for you. <laughs> what? The hell is that? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Obese Toppin. <laughs> Should we? Coming let's... up with questions that I know oh, you no. like. It makes good sports radio conversation. <laughs> Too many syllables. I you didn't gotta know. answer it just right. You know what I mean. I have to Don't say. Don't Google it. Just try to think Todd's it out. Todd's ability to completely ignore the music and just sing over it, not matching at all what the song is, is truly A remarkable. A little tone deaf. I'm, I think I'm losing my hearing in general. Get quizzical. Quizzical, I want to get quizzical. I got pretty high there, though. Let me quizzical, let me hear your answer now. God, that's so your bad. Now, let me I can get up there, though. Now. I can hit the note. <laughs> Just be patient. While and he got it done with blows it. blows right by And it. he was so proud of it. And I, I thought, God, he's got to read the room. We're all cringing. And then I realized on my ride home how awful and unnecessary that was. How about on the way in sometimes? <laughs> How about on the drive in? Just How about while you're me. writing it? Yeah. While you're writing it. One time. Soon. As you're driving in, think. I bet you do it before you do it. Uh, let's see. What else? <laughs> it makes interesting sports talk <laughs> conversation. Get, get <laughs> quizzical. <laughs> quizzical. Okay. We all made our point. So the song actually worked out. It's providing content. So I got to say sorry to Todd. Let's get <laughs> quizzical. <laughs> Let me hear your. Let me hear your answers now. <laughs> that was so ill-advised and bad. That was bad. See, this, this is why my dad is glad he's dead. That you know, it, he, wow. doesn't, he doesn't have to hear this. That's harsh. It's yeah. so interesting because I'm in a, a unique vantage point sitting next to Todd and behind Paul. Mm. Because when I got the email, we all got the email, and all I heard from Todd, I hear these types of conversations. They go on all day. What are we doing with this? Paul says to Todd, and you know right from that moment that this is going to be terrible. Right from the minute, Paul's like, what are we supposed to do with this, yes. Todd? What, what's the point of this song? Yes. And then 15 to 30 minutes later, Todd is recording it, standing up, and I'm like, oh, God, he's not getting the hint on this one. <laughs> but you know who Ooh. told him to record the Olivia Newton-John song? Paulie. Mm. And I can guess the rationale. But I'm going to let Paulie tell us the rationale. So I, when Todd pitched the Olivia Newton-John tribute song, I was like, well, I, I don't know about this. It, it was pretty long, too. It was very long. So if it doesn't work on live radio, we're kind of stuck. Mm. Now, if he tapes it and it's great, we can use it. If it's a train wreck, we can use it. But then you have more options and you know what you're working mm. with. So I said, Todd, why don't you uh, go down the hall and uh, record that bad boy? Mm. And, and I, I fall for that every time. He's not looking to make me look stupid or bad. He's like, he's behind this, and you know he wants it to succeed. He wants it to do well, and he's being supportive. So I'm going to go do that because Paulie's into it. Paulie, his on the job peel every time. is for content. That's it. It could be a train wreck with content. It could be something that's really enlightening. But I always try to convince myself. But he's always like, name seven Astros right now from two that. And I'm like, he's genuinely interested in how big a fan I am. He's not trying to make me look stupid. It's no. like a, as a producer, it's like an MLB player. You want a home run or a big whiff. The singles don't do much. Yeah. It makes very interesting sports talk, radio <laughs> conversations, and topics. <laughs> There's something about that line that's just kills me. Just I'll reiterate, you guys are the worst. It makes good sports radio conversation. God, it's so bad. Yes, you gotta I'm way too many syllables right. in that one. You know what I mean. <laughs> Don't Google it. Just try to think it out. Don't Tell Google it. Mentally. I stand corrected. Make sure you know what you're it talking It makes very interesting sports talk radio conversation. conversation. Here we go. Pretty Here we go. Let's get quizzical. Quizzical. I want to get quizzical. Let's Damn. get into quizzical. That's Let good. me hear your I feel like I should apologize. May she rest in peace to Olivia and John. Serve no purpose. It's too late now. Honoring her memory, that's not uh, that didn't work out like that. 